Hey, welcome back to No High Beer Review. Today I have a beer courtesy of Kayla. It's a basically a pina colada session. I call it pina bulata, and it's that company. She gave me another one that I reviewed, uh, Bolero Snout, which, uh, I'm sorry, Bolero Snort, um, which I hadn't heard of before she gave me the other one. And if I remember correctly, I liked it. Um, and again, coming from a brewery, I don't really know anything about. Uh, 4.7%. Session ale with pineapple, coconut, key lime, milk sugar, and vanilla added. Um, yeah, relatively low ABV, which is pretty cool. And uh, I do love pina coladas. Uh, it is a drink I like when I'm, you know, in some tropical destination. Um, so I'm thinking I'll like this. Really cool label art. I love that. Um, yeah, it's just cool. Like simple, and then you got the nice like drinking out the uh, pineapple. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, let's get to the aroma. Well, you can see the look. I'm almost kind of like done, you know, describing beers. You know, here's what it looks like. Done. Now it's the aroma and taste. Um, it's relatively yellow gold, like it's actually sunny. You know, it looks like sunshine in a glass. Uh, two fingers ahead. But let's get into the aroma. Definitely get pineapple and coconut. I'm going to say it leads pineapple. Sweet. I don't get vanilla. I don't, I don't get a whole heck of a lot of lime, but I definitely, I mean, if it, for a pina colada, I want the coconut and pineapple being dominant. Uh, the lime is nice, subtle. Again, I don't get the vanilla. The sweetness is there, so it, you know, it doesn't smell like you just blended up a pina colada, but you do get the aromas that should be there for a beer version of this. Yeah, I mean, okay, again, like, when I was, I didn't expect this to be like I blended up pina coladas, but for a beer, that's about as close as you're going to get to the right aroma. Uh, let's see what the taste is. Cheers. Wow, okay. So it's definitely lighter. Like I can tell it's lower ABV. Um, the mouthfeel suffers because of that, but it's a session, you know, so it's, it is pretty rare something under 5% is going to have some crazy mouthfeel, but it is thinner. Uh, that'd be like my biggest criticism. In terms of flavors, huge sweet pineapple, but not like it's weird. It's not ripe pineapple, it's relatively fresh pineapple. But with an added uh, uh, um, independent sweetness. So, because uh, usually you don't write the riper, the pineapple, the sweeter it is, but it's not that kind of flavor. The lime is nice on this. The coconut is uh, uh, more faint than I would think, but the lime is a nice touch, uh, adds to the tropicalness of the pineapple. I'm not independently getting vanilla in the taste either. Um, the sweet, the sweetness, and the um, I'm wondering from the uh, lactose or mil yeah, milk sugar. Um, that's probably some of the sweetness I'm getting. Very refreshing. Um, this is without a doubt a warm weather beer. Um, I could probably drink one of these, enjoy, and want to move on. I kind of feel the same way about like hard ciders, like. I like hard cider enough, but after I drink a whole glass of one or a can or bottle, I'm usually like, excuse me, ready to move on to something else. And let me take another swig and see if I change my mind. But I kind of think that's what, how I feel about this. Let this be cool. Get a couple of them, you know, with some friends. But, like, yo, you got to check this out. First beer of the beach day kind of a thing. Let me take another swig. Yeah, I'm not going to change uh, my opinion about that. Um, I would gladly do one, but I'm going to want to switch to something else. And probably, you know, starting with this, with this session, I might just switch to something as simple as like Founders All Day IPA. But like another session, uh, but just maybe with a different flavor profile and um, uh, one that I, I, I have in the past drank during the course of a day with friends uh, on some water or whatever. But a good beer. I'm glad I got to try it. Um, so far, they're making some cool stuff from what I've been able to try from them. Thanks again, Kayla. And, uh, of course, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it every single time. 
Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers.